everyone, this is Sylvia from Beauty Cakes and today I have my April favorites for you guys. I don't have too many things, but they're super important things that I actually have been loving throughout this month. So um, I would stay tuned if I was you. So first of all, I want to introduce you guys to something that has honestly significantly changed my life and allowed me to just maybe one, be lazier than I already am, slash provide convenience, let me function throughout the day. So what I'm talking about are these portable battery packs. Um, I actually have this version and then a little baby version, which is so cute. So it's called the Chiro Power Plus and the face is just so cute. I'm sure you guys have probably seen this face on like different um, animated stuff before. So basically I came across this because the company um, reached out to me and was like, hey, like, do you want to try this out? And I was like, huh, like I don't really know if I'm really going to use it that much to be quite honest with you. Like I don't know if it's going to be helpful. I was very skeptical about it. But they were like, no problem, we'll just send you the product because we're sure that you're going to like it. I'm like, okay, fine, like sure, um, let's try this out. And it has helped me in so many ways, let me tell you. Sometimes when you're sitting on the couch and you have your phone with you that's almost out of batteries and you want to grab your phone charger, but for you to plug in your phone charger somewhere you won't be able to sit comfortably on the couch and be on your phone while your phone is charging because the outlet is like five miles away what you do instead you grab this plug your phone into this you can have this right beside you with your phone in your hand and I can literally bring my phone anywhere while it's charging and this holds so much power I actually charged my phone fully once and it didn't even go down a notch because it shows you how much power is left and I still had five bars up while um, I fully charged my phone. So not only is this great for just being lazy around the house, it is very convenient when I go to work as well. I work in a very technology heavy environment where I have my laptop, I have my iPad and I have my phone with me because I need to be on all three at all times and sometimes there just aren't enough outlets around for me to be charging all these things or whatnot. Um, so it has become very useful when I am sitting there and my either my laptop, my iPad, or my phone is out of batteries, I'll just plug it right into this and it charges so quickly and very, very well. So it comes with a wire like this, but this is actually for the Lightning iPhone, which I don't have, but it actually works my iPad, which is good. But I can just use my regular um, charging cable for my iPhone. Um, you plug in the USB end into one of these USB sockets, and then I plug the other end into my phone. So you don't need to go out and buy extra cables or anything like that. Like everything plugs into everything because because USBs are basically used for every single technology product pretty much. These have actually been so useful to me. Um, I never thought I would end up using stuff like this, but it has been seriously so useful to me. So the next thing I want to talk about is a movie slash documentary that I've watched recently and it's called Blackfish. It's about the orcas that are kept in captivity at SeaWorld and basically the whole ordeal behind that. Um, I'll admit, like I was a big fan of SeaWorld as a child. I loved going there. I loved marine animals and it was such a magical place. To me but after watching that documentary I really started to understand the depth behind what you just see whether it be on TV or in person at the park um, it's very different and there's more to think about than just what entertains in front of you I think it's a very good documentary that didn't necessarily take too much bias over one side or the other it just really explained the situation and really opened your eyes to the situation of what it is um, it's a very interesting documentary but then again I really love sea creatures so if you guys are interested in that I would definitely take a watch of that it was very interesting even my boyfriend enjoyed it and he first of all does not like documentaries and second of all doesn't really have an interest for sea animals but um, he really enjoyed it as well moving on to hair products I've been loving Dove's pure care dry oil lately it is a nourishing hair treatment that has macadamia oil in it it has really made my hair really soft gotten rid of all the frizz that happens with um, colored hair as well as it smells really good so there are two ways I go about using it um, when I come out of the shower I'll usually you know dry my hair so it's a little bit damp and then put it in the ends of my hair and I find that my hair then dries very soft flowy um, and with no frizz to it. The second thing is I will use it on day old hair as well. So basically um, I do shower every single day but I don't wash my hair every single day. So the days I don't wash my hair I throw my hair up into a ponytail and then when I finish showering just the ends of my ponytail are um, wet and that is perfect for me to go ahead and put the oil in. So I pump that in my hand, rub it in the end of my ponytail and then my hair dries really nicely and soft and also gives that really nice smell so that your day old hair does not smell crappy. So moving on to makeup, I have been loving doing ombre lips lately. I know I'm kind of late on the trend but I don't know, I've only really liked doing it lately. If you guys check out my Instagram you probably know that I've been wearing it a lot and taking photos of it because I really like it. How I achieve it is that I use the Revlon Just Bit and Kissable um, lip stain and I put it near the inner corners of my lips like where 
it would be darker if you were like let's say sucking on a lollipop so just on the inner side of my lips and then on the outer side I use like a nude lipstick or sometimes I will use this um, lip stain just around the edges so it comes out nice and evenly. And speaking of this lip stain, it is also included in my monthly favorites. I've been loving this product because it looks so natural on it. It gives you that nice like dewy look. Um, so I've been using it on my lips for a uh, very natural my lips but better color as well on my cheeks when I want a more natural look. My last makeup product is a Shu Amura Ultimate Natural Mascara and it looks like this. I've used it in my past tutorial of my no makeup makeup tutorial so very natural look I've been loving this mascara because I've been wearing a very natural look lately so it looks kind of like I'm not wearing makeup um, and this mascara separates your lashes but it lengthens them um, but it still looks very 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 natural on like when I wear this mascara I've had people ask me like are those your real lashes because they look so real the wand on this is great at separating your lashes evenly and the formula to this mascara is great it's waterproof as well so you don't have to worry about it flaking or smudging throughout the day and the last thing I want to show you guys is something I've never really talked about before and I don't think many people know this about me unless you follow me on Twitter where I like talk about everything but it is a game that I've recently downloaded on my iPad I did play it before it had the iPad version but I love it more than it has the iPad version and um, it is called Hearthstone so it looks like this watch it's gonna load up for you guys so this is what it looks like it's kind of a I don't know I some people would say that I'm pretty nerdy for playing this but anyways it's a Warcraft game um, so if you guys know of Warcraft it is just an extension off of that where it's like a card game so yeah, like it's basically a card strategy game and I really really like it and my boyfriend introduced it to me and I have been up every single night like playing it. It's actually so ridiculous but it definitely is a monthly favorite of mine for this month. Um, so if you guys want to play Hearthstone against me, you can send me your IDs below and we can battle it out on Hearthstone. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching as usual and I will talk to you guys again soon. See ya!